Hey guys, I'm Meredith with AT, and today we are going to talk to Greg about his 2016 Silverado. Thank you for joining with me, Greg. Thank you for having me. So just to kind of give a brief overview of your setup, you have a 2016 Silverado 1500, you have the Pro Comp Series 1 wheels in satin black in a 17 by 9 inch with a negative 6 millimeter offset. You have the Kumo Road uh, Venture AT tires, the all-terrain tires, and a 285-70 R17, which comes out to roughly 33 by 11 inch tires. And then you have the MotoFab two inch front leveling kit. Now first, just taking a look at the pictures, this looks great on your truck. Can you tell me a little bit more about why you chose this setup in particular? When I first got my truck, I didn't want a huge lift on it just yet. It was my first brand new truck, so I wanted something a little bit subtle, so I went with the two inch uh, leveling kit. I, I didn't want the over-the-top suspension level. I wanted the blocks to go underneath the struts. So that was kind of just a personal preference thing. When you were shopping around for wheels, uh, what brought you to these in particular? I really, really like just that black satin look, that more of a math and chrome. I decided to go with the, uh, the Pro Comp wheels. They're not super spooky wheels, so they gave me a little bit of that like full look in the wheel as opposed to like a thinner spoke side of the wheel well. So that kind of went into it a little bit. The 17 inch wheels, I like more of a tire look than a just straight wheel look. So that was kind of the main decision there. I went in knowing that I was gonna go with 17s. 18s crossed my mind for a second, but 17s just gave it a better look and the kind of American guide that I was given to show what the wheels and tires look like together, that definitely helped a lot. Now, with the nine inch wide wheel and the negative six millimeter offset, you have an aggressive stance. It pokes out a little bit from the fender or the wheel well. Could you tell me why you chose that stance in particular? Um, so that stance in particular, it's a little bit wider than the stock stance. Uh, obviously, the wheel itself is, of course, a little bit wider than a stock wheel. I definitely wanted that little bit of a more aggressive stance. And so I went with the negative six. I really, really like that one inch stance on the truck. We stick out just a little bit. I don't have fender flares. So that was a good look for me without being crazy outside of the wheel wells. So really it came down to a personal preference. I didn't want it to be flush inside of the uh, of the wheel wells. I, I've seen some trucks like that that have a wider tire, but they sit completely in. Um, I also didn't want to do any cutting or have any rubbing going on inside the wheel wells. And I currently don't with the setup that I have. Now, as far as like flares, is there a reason why you didn't add flares or are you looking to do that in the future? Um, it's a little tough to find the fender flares that I like in white. The ones that I do like, they typically just come in black. So it's a little tough. I think they have to be like special ordered in order to get the white ones. So that would be the only thing that I, was holding me back aside from the fact that I didn't want to do steel. I know if I get steel fender flares, the wheel well itself will give out if I hit something or, or something hits me. Um, so I'd rather just leave it how it is than, than try and put fender flares on there. So I want to get a little bit more into the tires. You have the Kumo Road Venture all-terrain tire and a 285 70 r17 uh, which is a 33 by 11. is there a particular reason why you chose this size so just because of the chevy split wheel well it's tough to get 35s in there without a lift uh, i had to do a lot of cutting um stuff like that and if not i'd have a lot of rubbing so i really didn't want to have to deal with any of that yet a uh, lift kit is probably in the future but uh for now the 33s look good enough for me and it doesn't look too small on the truck with a leveling kit it just gives you a little bit of room and makes the truck look a little bit better without a rake on it like that. and then why did you choose the type so you have mud terrain street tires and all terrain is there a particular reason why you chose the all terrain so um i don't do a ton of all for um you know we go on the beach we do all that fun stuff do a little bit of mudding here and there whenever we get some weather for it but i don't do a ton of that um you know the truck's my daily driver so i was keeping in mind how loud they would have been if i went with mud terrain or obviously street terrain was kind of out of question if we were going on the beach all terrain was kind of that nice in the middle tire where i wasn't getting a ton of noise on the road um, and then they serve their purpose on the beach. They serve their purpose off-road whenever I do it. Do they feel like bumpy, like a mud terrain would, or does it give a pretty smooth ride? I mean, right out of the gate when they got installed, felt just like a street tire. There, there was no difference. They didn't sound any louder. They didn't feel any louder. The turn was fine. Never had any issues with it. A little about 
5,000 miles, 10,000 miles in, they got a little bit louder, but after a quick tire rotation, they went right back to normal. The feel of the tire didn't change. Uh, you know, the drive never really changed at all. So that was nice. I never really had to deal with too much noise. Even though it felt like the stock kind of tire, did you need to do any like recalibration or do anything different in order to like accommodate for the larger tire? As far as, you know, uh, speed, gauge goes with Chevy, the actual speed gauge that you're given, the digital readout is spot on. The actual gauge itself is about two miles an hour or less above 45 miles an hour. So you kind of just keep that in mind. I mean, most people when they put on larger wheels and tires keep that in mind, um, but sometimes it throws it off a little bit to where they want that exact reading. Um, so sounds like you just keep it in mind while you're driving around and cruising. Getting into the lift, I know you spoke a lot about how uh, it's comfortable with the 33s on there or the 285 70s, but why did you choose this size? I know you wanted to go with a bigger wheel and tire, but is there a reason why you didn't go with like a two and a half or a one and a half uh, compared to the two that you have? Um, so basically I, it was kind of just what was going to fit the rim. I knew I wanted 33, so that was kind of the gauge. And after that, I figured out what the code of the tire would be for it. Basically it was, it was once again, using American Trucks website that kind of walked me through how to pick the code of the tire that I really wanted, given the fact that I just kind of put in that I wanted 33s, and then I was given all the codes that I could. So I went the biggest tire possible of a 33, and then from there picked out the tire that I wanted. So when it comes to any fitment issues, did you have any issues uh, with the leveling kit? Was there anything you needed to do, any cutting or modification, even if it was minor? No, I didn't have to make any changes after the leveling kit was installed. And like I said, cutting and any of that I didn't have to do. I don't have any rubbing turns of that. Now when it comes to the ride quality, you said that the tires kind of kept a stock ride quality. Would you say the same thing for the lift? Yes. Um, you know, it, obviously you can see a difference in, in the cab. You know, it's definitely a little higher, you can tell. Um, but as far as the drive itself goes, it feels pretty much the same. The turning is the same, or just the cruising, that's all the same. Did you test the wheels and tires without the lift kit installed, or was the lift kit put on in order to fit the wheels and tires? Uh, the lift kit was put on in order to fit the wheels and tires. I probably could have done the wheels and tires without the lift kit, but with that said, um, you know, I just kind of wouldn't be on the safe side and now I have to deal with any cutting or anything like that. So um, that definitely had to go on before the wheels and tires did. One of my last questions really is, do you plan on doing anything different? Um, I know that building a car or building a truck is kind of a process and sometimes you want to go bigger, sometimes you think that you could have done something different. Is there anything that you would have done different or you plan on doing in the future? You know, I'm happy with everything I've done so far. Um, I really enjoy the way the truck looks and drives and rides and the whole nine yards. In the future, I definitely see a bigger lift kit coming and some bigger tires. I have the itch now, so it's one of those things where I definitely want to make it a little bit higher. I definitely want to get a little bit bigger tires. Fender flares might be in the future if I, you know, want to go a little bit wider. But yeah, like there's definitely some moves in the future coming up, and I think it'll it'll be in a pretty near future. So thank you, Greg. I think that kind of wraps it up for our interview. Overall, I think you have a, a great build. You have a 2016 Silverado 1500. You have the Pro Comp Series One wheels in satin black in a 17 by 9 inch with a negative 6 millimeter offset. You have the Kumo Road uh, Venture AT tires, the all-terrain tires, and a 28570 R17, which comes out to roughly 33 by 11 inch tires. And then you have the MotoFab two inch front leveling kit and definitely gives the truck a really nice stance. So thank you for speaking with me today and for more videos just like this, make sure to always keep it right here at americantrucks.com.
they did have to be rebalanced. Um, the truck had to be realigned after they got put on there. So that was just kind of a preliminary thing to make sure that I wasn't going to have any over or under steer. 